हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर रत्ना शर्मा पीडियाट्रिक हेमेटोलॉजिस्ट ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट एट मे इज ऑब्जर्व एज वर्ल्ड थैलेसिमिया डे आई एम योर टू कनेक्ट विथ यू फॉर ओनली फ्यू मिनट्स टू टेल यू समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एंड योर लव्ड वंस आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट थैलेसिमिया दैट एवरीबडी नीड्स टू नो थैलेसिमिया इज अ जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन विच अफेक्ट्स चिल्ड्रेन बॉन्ड टू हेल्दी पेरेंट्स हु आर कैरियर ऑफ दिस जेनेटिक डिफेक्ट Yes, born to healthy parents just like you and so many other people. Is it a serious problem? What happens to these children? Children who inherit the defective gene from both the parents are unable to produce normal hemoglobin and end up requiring monthly transfusions usually starting from their first birthday. They become dependent on blood transfusions for their survival in most of the cases. What happens to these children in the long run? they need blood transfusions every 2 to 4 weeks for their survival repeated blood transfusion leads to iron overload which accumulates in the heart liver pancreas and other organs this poses risk of cardiac complications diabetes hypothyroidism short stature delayed puberty and even infertility despite all efforts towards comprehensive care and the available medicines it's a life full of challenges for them In some cases the quality of life gets significantly compromised. Is there any cure for thalassemia? Yes, thalassemia can be cured by bone marrow transplant, but bone marrow transplant or hematopoietic stem cell transplant is a major procedure and an expensive one too. The patient needs to be fit for transplant, needs preferably an HLA match donor, and obviously there is need for funds to undergo transplants. Gene therapy if you ask me is still not available in India and very expensive even in the western world. How can thalassemia be prevented? Thalassemia can be prevented and should be prevented by creating awareness among people especially those in the child bearing age group. They need to be testing themselves before planning pregnancy. If in a couple both are carriers there is a 25% risk in each pregnancy that the baby would inherit this genetic defect. from both the parents and be affected therefore tests are done between 12 to 18 weeks of pregnancy to know if the fetus is affected and the couple is guided accordingly how does anyone know that he or she is a carrier unless you get yourself tested you will not know you are a carrier by testing i mean doing a simple blood test available in almost all the labs why should everyone know about thalassemia Everyone should know about thalassemia because anyone could be a carrier. The prevalence is 4% with a range of almost 1 to 17% across different communities in India. India has more birth rates of affected children than any other country in the world. There is an ever increasing need for blood with 10 to 12% of voluntary donation currently being given for those living with thalassemia. Huge resources are required to give them optimum care in the form of regular transfusions, investigations, medicines needed to decrease the iron overload. Therefore, it is best to know one is a thalassemia carrier by getting oneself tested rather than knowing after giving birth to an affected baby and living with the challenges that follow. I sincerely request everyone to undergo the test and encourage everyone you know to get the test done. care and cure is expensive and challenging for those living with thalassemia however as i told you prevention is easy just a simple test to know if one is a carrier all those who are watching this video please get yourself tested for thalassemia you could be a carrier let's jointly work towards creating awareness about thalassemia thank you